What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of At the Wheel with Cars and Cameras. I'm John. I'm Isaac. And I'm Charles. First time on the show, we got Charles. Oh, yeah. Thanks for having me on, man. Yeah, dude. We've been <laughs> planning on doing this since we started the podcast and since you started full time. It's just uh, got busy doing other things. And, oh, yeah. You know, we haven't done one of these in a while, but we have a lot uh, going on, a lot to talk about. We've been busy with... Um, Hot Rod Power Tour is, is what we went on recently, and uh, also bought the old Cadillac. And I guess we're going to have some Charles-specific questions, too. Thank goodness. Um, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, it's first time on the show, dude. Yeah. Everyone, everyone wants I'm to sure know. I'm sure people want to know more about Charles. Oh, absolutely. So uh, <laughs> if you have any questions for us specifically that you want us to answer, uh, get in the Super Chat. Uh, it's a great way to help support us, and um, it's a good way to make sure that we will get to your question. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, we have a lot going on right now. A whole lot to talk about. Well, mainly two topics, but it has been a while since we have been on a uh, podcast. How long has it been? It's been... Uh, well, the last one was was your rec episode, so it's been a while. Wow, it's been more than two months. Two months, three months. Yeah, oh, wow. Time flies Goodness when you're having fun. Oh, actually, I did... I, I, I did a, we did have one and I was in my sling. So it had been like two months. So glad to be back on the podcast. And uh, we're going to be talking about Power Tour and John's newest purchase. Uh, Does it have to be John's? Can't it be Cars and Cameras' latest purchase? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm going I'm to throw you all in on this. And uh, I want to know honestly uh, what you think of the project now that you have uh, really clean, yeah. clean, really gotten in there and uncovered a lot of things. Fair enough. So anyhow, uh, is there anything you want to say, John, uh, Charles? Oh, no, I'm, a, I'm all right. Thank you. I don't know what to do with his hands. Yeah, the car, car handled real good. Yes, yes. <laughs> so anyhow, uh, just to start off, I thought I'd just go ahead and talk about the Hot Rod Power Tour 2021, how much fun I had and how much I am looking forward to the next year. Yeah, it was a good time. We uh, we loaded up uh, two Honda Trail 70s and uh, Ike's old 66 C10 and drove from my house here in North Carolina to Dayton, Dayton, Ohio, right? Yes, that's a... Uh uh, well, Norwalk, Ohio. Norwalk, yeah. That's Norwalk, right. Ohio. And, uh, well, the, the getting ready for the trip was, was a, you know, a lot of trouble. I was trying to get my Biscayne, my 68 Chevy Biscayne going for the trip, but because of my, uh, my shoulder injury, it slowed me down. I could not finish the project, so I picked, uh, picked the easier route, which was, my 66 Chevy C10 truck, which all it needed was, you know, an oil change. Is that all you some, did to some it? tires. Oh, yeah, we put a spare rear end in the bed. Yeah. Because we weren't sure the original one was, was, was going to hang on. It. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah, that was uh, pretty interesting. You just getting the tires balanced was difficult enough. Um. Let me tell you. Get close to that mic, oh, yeah. Charles. Yeah. Sorry about speak that. Speak up a little louder. All just right. it's his first time. It's yeah. all good. Yeah. He, he doesn't know what to do with his hands or his or mouth. Or his mouth. <laughs> yeah. Oh so um yeah, I had a horrible horrible time with the uh tires. I had brand new tires put on on some different wheels. And I don't know, should I say where I got it done at? Oh, I mean, I don't, I don't think it's that important. Not but. important. Okay, well, it, it was a uh, a very common place. There's probably thousands of them in the USA. Uh, you know, anyhow, starts with a W. No, it just at Walmart. Yeah. Why are you gonna? If you're gonna like, <laughs> I'm do that, beating around the Walmart. bush. All right. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, you know, I don't normally do that. I have my own tire machine at at the shop, and I have a tire balancer, but because of my again. Shoulder injury, I was not able to pick the tires up and put them on the tire machine. So I was like, I'll just take it to Walmart. It's the easiest thing to do. Uh, three Walmarts later, no one could get it balanced. And, uh, yeah, I had to take it to a, another shop. And uh, 
well, they couldn't balance it either. No one told me I had a bent rim. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'll do it, huh? <laughs> that'll do it. So, guys, make sure you uh, have round rims. Before uh, you get your tire balance. Yeah, but I asked. I asked everyone. I was like, "Do I? are my rims round? Are they straight? And everyone said, yeah, your rims are fine. So, uh, yeah, the whole trip to, uh, you know, on Power Tour, around 70 miles per hour, it had a shimmy. Wasn't it about 70? Yeah, but if you go faster than 70, it, it cleared it, right up. It goes away. So, so I'm going to leave it that one there. Yeah, so uh, the first uh, first stop was Norwalk, Ohio. It was about an eight- or nine-hour uh, cruise, problem-free, surprisingly. I mean, yeah. Well, I mean, there ain't no knocking on wood. I already made the trip there and back. It's so got, It's got to do it again, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we met up with Kevin, Junkyard Diggs. Um, gosh, who else was it? It was... Uh, we uh, met Derek and family, Vice Grip Garage. The, his old Cadillac, Betty White, that thing... Uh, had the sauce. I don't know how to describe it, but it, uh, it moved yeah. out. From that, what you described, yeah. I, you know, on clo- on a closed road, of course, clo- of course, closed road. Yeah, you know, someone was fully, you know, W O T, and <laughs> someone else was W O T. He and, hit the and gas, hit, and we hit the gas, and he was walking away. No, yeah. he wasn't walking away. He, he was walking away. He was yeah, not he was walking was, away. He, I couldn't catch oh, no, up. He's walking away. I couldn't catch up, and that wasn't on the first day. That was like on the third day. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Norwalk, Ohio was the first day. And then, uh, second day was, help me out here, somebody. Uh, uh Dayton. It uh, was a good, it was a good trip, man. It was a good trip. Oh, I feel yeah, like well, we, we should be talking about stuff that Charles can be involved it, on because hey, it's, it's the first time he's been on well, the that's, show. That's and where the Cadillac comes from. Everyone, in. the Cadillac, oh, I right? The Cadillac. I was letting him get his, you know, <laughs> yeah. let him get his power so, tour so out. Guitar, his guitar solo out. You know. I'm going to just <laughs> get rid of the, the, the days and just say, how much fun we had, how many uh, fans we meet, met up with. Met a ton of fans. Um, and I'm really bummed out I didn't get to go. Oh, it would have been next year. It's okay. Yeah, definitely next year. It would have been nice if you were there. But I ain't going to lie. In a way, I'm glad you didn't ride yep. with us because we would have been three deep in that truck. And uh, every well, little bit of room you guys needed, I oh would man. have been taken up. So. Someone would have been riding in the back of that thing. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'd rather be in the back than the middle with the trail seventies. Yeah, and now we have some super chats coming in. Um, Thanks for those so far. We're going to get to those kind of uh, at the end of the regular show. So we're going to answer answer all your questions there. Yes. Um. Go ahead. Oh yeah. So, uh, John, you going to have something ready for next year? Oh, Cadillac man, Clapalac. You think the Clapalac will be ready for uh, Power No, tour? probably not. You know how it goes. It's like, I got all year to do this, and then all of a sudden it's four days before Power Store starts and you have nothing ready. Yeah, so. I know exactly <laughs> what you're talking about. Yeah. So As long as it doesn't rain and we get it running and driving, it'll be fine. It should we be could, fine. We can run it with the floors. Right. It'll be all right. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, let's uh, let's get to the uh, floor part. That's, I, I well, was, let's, yeah. Yeah. I found this car in the back of a used car lot. Um, in Durham, North Carolina, a friend was looking at like a, it was a Porsche Boxster or something like that. turns out they sold the car and I noticed that this old Cadillac was sitting back there. And my dad has had a 1958 Cadillac since 05, 06, something like that. So beautiful, beautiful. I'm a caddy guy. You know, I got the Italian stallion blood, you know, I got an uncle that's Never, never mind. I um, got I got a Cadillac too. You do, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But <laughs> I just love like fifties, early sixties Cadillacs. I just think that's like prime era of uh, tail fins. American cars in general, honestly, tail fins. Dude, this thing's got like four tail fins on it. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. It's crazy. There's two up top, like regular tail fins, and then for some reason, there's a tail fin coming out at the. What is that? And it's isn't it part seven of the o'clock and five o'clock position. Yeah, the meeting in nineteen sixty one probably went like, "Now fifty nine. We 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 can't make the tail fins any bigger. What are we gonna do? We're gonna add two more tail. Let's fins. Let's add two more tail fins. Oh my God, Jim. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. Um. Anyway, yeah, awesome looking car. Um, bought it for three grand, which it's funny. Like the comments, they're really split. Like you paid way too much for that car, and then like, yeah. well, I didn't really didn't see you got a good deal on that car, but 
I don't know. In I today's mean, market. I don't think it's bad because I've been looking for a 62 Cadillac, and they're either even more clapped out than this one, and they want, they're want they asking a lot, or they're, like, really fixed up, and, yeah, I can't afford it. Yeah. So I described the car to both of you guys. What did you think of it in, in real life once you saw it? Oh, when I saw it? When I saw it, I was like, this thing's awesome. And, uh, you know, when we started, like, looking around, you know, it was about what I expected because it was sitting in the back lot for 20 years. Um, I ain't going to lie, though. Them floors are a little bit more rotted than I was thinking. Yeah. But it it definitely uh, – it was definitely a really cool car, you know, first impression. But it, it sucked to see – it be neglected in the back, Unf- you know, unfortunately for, you know, whatever circumstance came up. Uh, but it was like someone started a restoration, then did the motor swap. We don't really know what happened first, you know. But, uh, yeah, it just got left left behind. And it, you, know, it, you can tell there's still tape and all kinds of stuff on it. So, uh, but uh, we, we've, we've done it some justice and gotten it out of its grave. And it's now in a nice dry shop. Yep. So yeah, talking about that motor swap, I am not not happy with that motor swap. I mean, this car when it comes to the motor swap, it is jank on top of jank on top of jank. Like uh the motor mounts, they're not even like like no, they don't look right. It it's re- they're really small. I mean, like the motor mounts from my Chevy 350 or a lot bigger than that. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what these. I don't. They might be stock motor mounts. I'm not sure, but they just don't match up to the frame, right? Uh, yeah, yeah it's it's just it just doesn't seem jank. right. Um, yeah. the engine seems to sit down in there a little bit too low, and they had to notch out the frame for the oil pump and uh, well, the oil. Boys, pump they assembly. did it for road racing, man. Yeah. Low oh yeah, lower gravity. lower center of gravity. Racing caddy, like, like a Corvette. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, I think we can do a much better job. <laughs> you know, I, th- I think we're gonna try. What's hilarious that okay. you pointed out is that the 390 they took out of that car, yeah, had oh, more yeah. horsepower than the 500 they put in it. Um, I'm not sure. If, do you remember the torque uh, of the 500? No, of, I don't of either. Oh, oh no. One, one thing yeah. I didn't take account for is you know when we popped the valve covers i saw it in the comments i didn't re- it didn't register to me but those heads haven't been ran very long like the look of them there's no yeah. it, it's like they were from the machine shop put on the engine was like put together they kind of ran it played with it and stuff but it doesn't have any like major hours on it like yeah. just just looking at it underneath i don't i don't think that engine had been run uh long it Bottom might hit. have had yeah. a break-in period because it looked like the top of the pistons had you know, a little bit of carbon on there, but I didn't see any, like, evidence of it running for a long period of time. Yeah. And I, th- I think they went through that engine, set it in that car, possibly broke it in, and then yeah. it sat. It, ma- it makes sense. Maybe they had the head sent off while they were, you know, messing around with it or whatever, or bought new ones. I, I, was, yeah. I was expecting this thing to have a cam in it, like, like a performance cam yeah you like think we, they had it, a, and it still might we we haven't gotten it in the idle yet i mean 100 percent. so but. well it i don't know i heard it run on the video and i'm okay. like yeah <laughs> it's it sounds pretty stock okay yeah well it does it really does um but it's a cool car cool engine i saw one comment uh someone said like it's almost like they built the engine and just put water in it and I'm pretty sure that's what it's probably that's exactly what happened because yeah. I didn't you know as much rust that's in those the the coolant passages there weren't no antifreeze in it no they they ran the motor yeah. with water in it and parked it yep and then winter came and froze the block cracked the block which, which is fine for racing in short time you know purposes or whatever but yeah you got to have coolant in there definitely yeah. got to have coolant uh I, I got to say, I was pretty bummed. I was hoping that this engine was going to be, you know, 100%, because, uh, you know, I was going to put it in my hearse. You know? Yeah, I was planning on, um, well, the the long-term plan for this car 
which I don't, I don't know how you guys really feel about it. But uh, the long-term plan is to just kind of slap it together the way it is. Uh, maybe weld up the block in the 500 would be really cool. Mm-hmm. Get the transmission shifting, throw a drive shaft in it, um, put some floors in it, get the brakes working, put disc brakes on it, and then just kind of drive it. And then once it gets boring or something else catastrophically breaks. Well, finish, finish your truck. Oh, yeah. Before you go. It could be the company car. Absolutely. Yeah, the company cruiser. John, can I borrow the Cadillac and go to the parts store? Yeah, just don't get any oil on my vinyl seats. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to come back with a piece of plywood on the roof. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be fine, man. No. But we might get to painting it one yeah. day. I don't know. I, I would love to put a CTSV engine in it. Now, it, that would be cool. I mean, because that would be exactly what needs to go on power tour yeah that caddy with like a ctsv engine in it it'll be no awesome hood got to let him know well i mean you know Half turbo's gonna turbo's gonna be so big you can't fit the hood on it <clears throat> ctsv engine is supercharged sir well you mean we twin charge add we just okay. add yeah. a turbo of course to it. Excuse gallo me. 24 <laughs> gallo 12 or gallo 24 awesome yeah, so I didn't know Pete's place made motors. Uh, oh man, so yeah, that would be cool to do on Power Tour 2022. Yeah. Charles, you got any ideas on? Uh, you gonna ride with us or you gonna drive? Air. Well, we definitely got to do the air ride for you know for comfort, so it feels like we're riding down in the uh, living room couch. Experience. So, so it sounds like you're gonna ride with John. Either that, or I'm gonna get the red truck done. Yeah, what do you got? Tell us about oh, your red truck, man. What it's is it? A uh, 1985 Scottsdale. Or Chevrolet Scottsdale, uh, two wheel drive long bed, and let's see, it's too low. <laughs> no, no, it's not I, too low. I, I, no, I did I do, I did a what is it, a five and six drop front and back, and it you know static drop. Uh, I'd like air ride, but it's too complicated. Uh, and it looks good. Yeah, uh, it needs a few things like air conditioning, but <laughs> uh, just to make it road worthy because that, that's quite a few miles to put on it. But it's, I mean, new motor, freshly rebuilt transmission. Uh, the rear end looked good from at least the last time I popped the cover, so no noise from it. Yeah, I didn't see the truck when you bought it, but um, yeah, I, I bought it from a Marine off base. I had somebody sneak me in there. Well, well, anyway, doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> it was okay. It was during COVID, so you know, big deal. But the truck was found on marketplace. <laughs> bought it for a thousand dollars. Didn't have an engine in it. It was that all, was a steal. It was all apart in the back. Now the new engine ended up costing me and my father more than the actual truck because it was originally for him and I, but his health kind of took a tumble. So we're not going to get into that, but no big deal. He's better now, but uh, he needed a more reliable vehicle to get to and for to and fro to his appointment. So the, the red truck became more mine and he got a Toyota Tacoma, but yeah, so I, I started lowering it and modifying it and making it a little bit more louder and more, more fun. Yeah. So. You get a ton of compliments on that yeah. truck, man. And it just makes me smile driving it. So, yeah, it's a it's a really sweet truck. It's Every, like a true hot rod. Oh yeah, yeah. And and the prices of them are going up, but I'm not selling it. Uh, I can see the stink eye from my fiance. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, not, I'm, I'm, not allowed, I'm not allowed to sell it. <laughs> so six thousand dollars. No, we're not going to start a bidding war here, guys. Ten, <laughs> ten. I think I think I was at like five thousand on the last video. Like five thousand dollars, Charles. But hey, no. let's answer some questions and, right, and, and get back into it. Absolutely. How about that? Yeah, because we have a ton of super chats. And also, just thank you, everybody, for a million subscribers. Oh. I've got like a ton of. Uh, that's not nice. I've, I've got a, a ton of. Uh, that hurts. Comments oh, no. from people saying congratulations for a million subscribers. And it's pretty oh, cool. Yeah, thank pretty you. Cool. Like, thank you. Oh, you yeah, know, thank ev- you. Everyone online, people, friends I haven't talked to in forever, too. So it's so, pretty sweet. We've been doing this a long time, and it's, it's nice to, <laughs> to hit that milestone. It's yeah. huge. Yeah, How, seven years? Uh, 2014 is when we started posting oh. consistently. Yeah, it's on the shirt. Yep. Seven years? Yeah. That's seven years. That's that's not bad, a million and seven. Yeah, let's try to make not the bad. next yeah. million in, in three and a half. Yeah, I, sure. I know, sure. I know I wasn't here from the start, but I'm glad I was here yeah, for All of a milestone. sudden, Charles joins, and we, we get a million subscribers in like three months. It's Charles. crazy how that works. Good luck, Charles. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we got a comment here from Dax. So will the Cadillac be another ten year build? Maybe. Yeah, that, I mean, I that's, that's, that's what I, I was mean, saying. Just think Perth. about it. Just think about it. You, you got to finish up your truck. 
Which it's not that far away. No. And you were talking about uh, kind of dr- uh, getting the Cadillac running and just kind of driving it as is. Yeah. I was so, not prepared for this podcast, but I uh, restored it. I'll, Go ahead. None of us were prepared. I was in charge and, you know. And for anybody that doesn't know, John's truck is one of those ones that you see at the car show. And this is my opinion. And, like, the old man keeps you away from it. He rubs it with a diaper. And it's it's yeah. pristine. Yeah. Like, you did – and – it takes time to do that. So, you know, 10 years, it's fine. It's a 66 C10 that I started with my dad. Because the truck was going to be easy, right? Um, yeah. No. No. Yeah. Uh, it turns out when you do everything yourself except for build the engine and build the rear end, it takes a lot of time. Yeah, definitely. Um, and and just the finished product, which, it's, I mean, it's like 97, 98% finished. Yep. yep. It's like top notch. I've seen, I've seen shops... Uh, uh, you know, restore cars do a worse job than what you've done. No, oh, I, I appreciate it. So, ten years for for that, I don't think that's bad. And learning Thanks. and learning on that vehicle, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. yeah, I learned that you don't take everything apart and then put it everywhere, and then you know, four years later, try to find it. No, you, you go section at a time. So, you know, in one weekend, we might put a trunk pan in the Cadillac, and another weekend, we might throw some floor pans in it. Just Chunk yeah. at a time, right? You you know I've never ever finished one of my own projects. Never. Uh oh. Yeah. Never. What about your white CT seventy? It's not done. Is no. it? <laughs> oh, it's no. close. Yeah. So moving on. Anyway, thanks for that comment. Uh, Hot grits nine one zero. That's a heck of a username, <laughs> sir. Will there be a four wheel drive go kart two point or upgrade? I love that cart. Uh, we. We're talking about something. What? Oh the, yeah, the, it doesn't involve. Well, it's still four wheel drive, but it's two engines, and it's like it's a it's flat. It's the flat cart, front wheel drive and rear wheel oh, drive yeah, flat thought, cart. Dude, because this morning we just bought a Rocon, yeah. which is a two wheel drive mini bike, and you were, Charles had a comment like, "Man, let's strap two Rocons together." <laughs> I was like, "Is that what you're talking about?" But you know how, you know <laughs> no, how hard no. it would be to find another Rocon. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, we can make <laughs> another one. <laughs> no, but the uh, the flat the four wheel drive flat cart would be kind of like the the Lamborghini of the go kart. Oh yeah, all wheel drive. Oh, hundred percent. That would be sweet. I don't know how it'd be sweet. handled though, but oh. we, it'd be cool. Anyway, yeah. yeah, we we talk all the time about yeah. all kind of crazy stuff. Uh, but yeah, sure. Uh, four wheel drive go kart two point I'm sure we'll build another oh, one at I'm, some point. Yeah, I'm sure there will be one. MLG eggplant. Can we address the biscuit? Yeah, let's talk about the biscuit. <laughs> you know, I, it wasn't I, there when we went back for the car. It was gone. So you I, think I got hungry? Yeah, do you think it was a person that ate the biscuit? You no. think it was a rat ate the biscuit? It was a mouse. Didn't you Definitely. see the mouse? Like, like it was chewing all over yeah. that biscuit. I you wouldn't think be was, surprised if the mouse carried it in there. Do you think it was one mouse that carried the entire half of the biscuit, or do yeah. you think? Yeah, judging by the oh, yes, no. judging by the oh, no. what is it? The, oh no, that's a big mouse, guys, dude. Judging by the turds that <laughs> clogged the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> yeah, 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 it was bad. So, so apparently a mouse had. Uh, Probably carried the biscuit up there, and we probably surprised it removing the hood. And he dropped his food. And he dropped his food. He I mean, the size of that biscuit. Drop his croissant. He he was not. Uh, he was not going to be running away with that biscuit. Yeah, yeah. He, ca- he came back for later. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> From Josh, let's not forget about Ike's medical bills. Everyone chip in. Oh, thanks, Josh. Yes, that's true. That. <laughs> A lot of medical bills. That's all I got. Your to say. accident taught me that I think I need a better insurance policy. So I, I've got. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, I mean, I've got. I thought I had a good insurance policy, but uh, apparently it's not that great. So, uh, when when I think it, uh, I think I can look into it in about October or something, and and do something a little different. So I might do that. Okay, sweet. Because, uh, I mean, the the it, it's nuts. I can't believe how much I had to spend out of my own pocket for for the with this, insurance. Yeah, yeah, with insurance. But it's about ten go karts worth. Ten really nice go karts, right? Yeah, or or brand new go power sports go like karts. Maybe ten like racing go karts, okay. brand new ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it was it was stay it was, safe, folks. Yeah. Be careful. Uh, case hard nails. I lost 15 pounds, but it was my dog. What? 
is he okay? Oh, well, sorry, Baxter. Yeah, that's that's rough, man. Sorry to hear that. Thanks for the donation, though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> None your business. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Gnarly Charlie sends it. We love him. How'd you meet him? Great question. I think what we Busco. met at Mini Mayhem. Yeah, it was Busco <laughs> Beach. Mini Mayhem. First one. It was before it was even called Mini Mayhem. Oh, yeah. It was the OG Cars and Cameras Bus Go Beach meetup. It was, um, there were like 20 people. That was a lot of fun, by the way. It was. It was a very intimate group, um, which we're having Mini Mayhem October 22nd through 24th of 2021 this year. So get ready. Get your your Go Power Sports orders in uh, and build your carts because you're going to break them. It's going to be fun. Oh, definitely. Anyway, uh, we met Charles at, yeah, Bus Go. I, I think it was just. Funny because I could hear you laugh through your helmet yep. at me riding my little hardtail mini bike from Yellow. the 60s. Yep. And he just, you're a legend. Yep. Reaching out, giving me knuckles. <laughs> yep. I, I should have known. That was it, man. Yeah. That's when the shake and bake started. Dopa Mods All. Hello from Washington State. This one is for everyone. Uh, do you remember your very fo- first motorized bike or cart? Let me start. First, because I had my very first uh, go kart, probably even before you guys were born in eighteen sixty six. I I hate owned you. the first combustion engine. I hate you too. <laughs> so uh, what I had was, oh gosh, I think it was something like an American Express. I think it was a two seater. It was a Margay. It was a no. What was it? Anyhow, it was a two seater <laughs> go kart. I'm glad you went first. I paid I paid twenty dollars for this go kart. Did it have a little a tarp over it and it was pulled by two horses? No. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> sorry, uh, dude, I'm I'm done now. So it, it didn't have any engine on it. Twenty bucks. Uh, my neighbor had a tiller with a five horsepower Briggs on it. It was white. And me and my brother, he gave us the engine. Mm-hmm. Off of his tiller, we put it on the go kart, and for some reason, I don't. The brakes didn't have a governor on it. The thing would do like fifty five miles per hour, and we had a field behind our house, and we were just tearing up the field and streets for I don't know a couple of years. Uh, we we became pretty popular with the with the local PD, with the local PD. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was my very first. Uh, very first go kart. So, take Charles? it away, Charles. Uh, well, I I found mine uh, a little in a little place called Cedar Island in Carteret County, and it was a couple couple cobbled together go karts. But the middle was rotted out of one, so we cut the seat out of another. But it was a an old clipper cart, two seater, that I kind of modified to make it into one. But uh, that I just we had a gravel road that. I'd just go from mailbox to mailbox. I'd decide and let my friends get on it and watch them go into the ditch every now and then. Noah, that's for you. Yeah, how, how old were you? Oh, uh, golly. I had, it was, that was, I was at least 14, 15 years old. Okay. My my first go-kart was, I was 12. 11, 11 or 12 years old when I got my first go-kart. And of course, I wasn't allowed to have one, but I got it anyways. You know, you kind of get it and ask for Forgiveness. Yeah. yeah. I, I wasn't allowed to have one. I had to actually go out and buy one myself. So, yeah. That's funny. I feel like we all got into go karts and mini bikes after people typically. Mm-hmm. Like, you yeah, were 12, yeah. you were 14. I had a car before I had a go kart. Yeah. How old were you when you got your first go kart? That you bought it for me. <laughs> it was the nine reasons how to buy an old go kart go kart because my parents were like very strict. No. Well, yeah. I mean, they were cool, but they were just like no motorized vehicles because I had a. I had a couple of friends that had dirt bikes and go-karts when I was a kid. And, like, I would just, I mean, you know. My my dad really cared about his yard. <laughs> he still does. <laughs> uh, John's dad really cared about his yard, too. Thanks, and Dad. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Dad. Uh, yeah, thank you. For, for putting up with us because uh, I, I think his yard is permanently scarred. Yeah, it is. I was there last weekend. And it's still yeah, the turn. It's still the, tr- the turn at the tree is still dead. Yep. Yeah. Sorry, Dad. He yeah. should come on the show sometime. Oh, that yeah. Would, that would be <laughs> yeah, that would be cool. All right, from Steven. Two questions. Where in North Carolina are y'all at? And how much uh, oh. Vice Crib Garage does Charles actually watch? Seems like a lot. So we are kind of from all over North Carolina. 
Um, I'm going to say Central and Eastern, and I think we can just we can leave it there. Oh, and I'll answer the second part. It's I mean, it's a, as much as anybody else, but I'm also – I've been a mechanic for, what, almost eight years, so that stuff literally comes naturally. Watching his channel is great, but it's – it. Yeah, it's it's okay. Sorry if anybody's offended. No, no, you're good. I think it's but it, you know, it, great channel, great guy. I mean, he's funny. Oh to yeah, watch. Derek's the man, dude. He's cool. And All it, right. yeah. Oh, go ahead. No, no, it just you know, make it. It honestly made working on that sort of stuff anything funny. And yeah, that's more, true. You know, that's true. Let, uh, patriotic hero one. Thank you for your yeah. That's a big donation. Oh man. my goodness, thank, thank you. Yeah, you're goodness the gracious. number one so far. <laughs> uh, See you at Mini Mayhem. Have Gravedigger coming along with a Coleman CT200 UEX. I can't wait to see you guys soon. Well, we can't wait to see you too. Yeah. I have the same mini bike, and I will I hope to bring it. Unless yeah. we got the something. The Dirt Hog? Yeah. yeah. Sweet. Dirt Hog. Sweet. Unless we got something else. No, but, man. Dirt Hog is okay. a classic. Yeah. The thing about Mini Mayhem is I feel like a mini bike is, is the way to go. Yeah. Something with suspension. Because you're going to get stuck. And and they're easy to turn around and easy to pull out of the mud holes yep. and all that stuff. So yeah, yeah. Le- le- and less stuff to break because the terrain out there. I mean it it's brutal on literally everything. Yep, there are it, plenty of go karts that can take a beating out. Oh, there absolutely. Too, yeah. yeah, but I mean we've had how many broken frames and had to weld it out there with bolt. Oh yeah, that was a good time. That was uh great well, content. Yeah, that was fun. Uh, Tyrannus Customs. What's, What's up, up guys? guys? Yeah. Uh, Bobby. Oh. Big, tell Big Bob hello. Tell Big Bob what up. All right. Uh, let's see. More questions. Uh, from William, thanks for the donation, man. Josh, again, what are you guys going to do to prepare for Redbeard's race? Cars and Cameras Kingdom is depending on you. Here's the thing. We are not prepared for Redbeard's race at all. Not one no. Because no. we're not. We, we haven't shared anything. Like, we've got two wheels on the ground. That's about it. Yep. Uh, and we haven't shared anything of what we've been building. We're going to keep it a surprise. And we've, you know, we've been peeking on everybody else's builds, and we're worried. A little worried. A little bit. No, no, I'm not worried at all. We got it, boys. <laughs> we got it. I'm worried. We got it? All right, let's see here. No, we, we've got this. Don't worry. Man, you better step up your game. That's all I'm saying. Well, I'll, I'll stay till nine. Don't worry. <laughs> Demon Doom Slayer. How's the two-cycle go-kart going? Oh, well, it's a... Still in the garage. The Murray? Is that what he's talking well, about? Uh, the, I'm thinking the, the newest one that we've been building. Snowmobile. Oh, that Go-Kart. one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I keep forgetting that one exists, man, because it's back at your place. Um, yeah. That one's going to be a riot. Yeah, I don't know where we're going to we, ride yeah, that thing. It's really not that far from being... No, it's right there. ...like, rideable. So we, we really need to, you know, get it and finish it. Yeah. So, uh, Pro Dab Paul. Y'all need to do more with the mini diesel. I agree. Uh, we need a flywheel for it. Yeah. Because we sent the old flywheel off. And, and uh, hadn't it's, gotten it back. It's MIA. It's gone. Yeah. Unfortunately. So we're a flywheelless. Maybe if we get a, a mill or something, we could make a flywheel. What you think? Let's put a really, let's put a, let's put a Briggs and Stratton one <laughs> in there. We'll oh, you need weight out, though guess. for a diesel, right? Uh, in order to keep it going. It, the, the flywheel has a, be, it's probably it's got to have important. some weight to it, otherwise it it just won't keep running and when idling. So. Triton fastest stampede. Thanks for the donation, uh, Sweeney. What's up, what's man? Up, Sweeney? Uh, what's up, guys? Can't wait to see everyone at Mini Mayhem. Glad to see Charles finally made an appearance on the podcast. Oh yeah, wouldn't have missed it. Yep. Thanks, Sweeney. Eugene Backyard Repair. Uh, where is the six seventy two stroke go kart? Hope you're still gonna film it. Maybe Charles driving. <laughs> I guess we're going to draw straws on who's going to drive that thing. I mean, I'll drive it. I no, mean, it's right. a big deal. Yeah. We're going to I mean, we're going to limit the throttle just for safe. I mean, oh, yeah. we want to continue first making time. videos. Yeah. And then and then we'll think about tightening it up later. So. Oh, Junkyard Digs. What's, What's up? up, man? Uh they may have lowered the motor to fit a performance intake. The stock intakes wet down then up to the cylinders to clear the hood. It flowed poorly. Well, uh BL Bush Light. Wow, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. started BL. He's yes. here without being here. Yeah, so, he's all Kevin. I can smell him from here. The, oh, the <laughs> engine is like, <laughs> I can the hear the pliers. Like too low. Like, well, what do you think the hood clearance is? Like 10 inches, maybe? Yeah, they definitely have a really thin air filter on that one. You know, the, yeah. two, the two pans are really close together. I think they just couldn't get the transmission to clear the tunnel. 
because it's like up against the transmission tunnel. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, from Dax, I remember you were looking for sponsors, and now it doesn't seem to be a problem. Congratulations on one million subscribers. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, thanks, man. We filmed one yesterday uh, for Current, and we filmed one for Hello Fresh today. And that was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun, actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I don't know how to describe right. it. It was, it was, it was a Cooking it. with Isaac episode, basically. Uh, it, also it featuring wound up, Charles. It wound up It was a good, big. Yeah. It was really tasty. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's coming up soon. You can find it on the channel here Wednesday. should be up Wednesday. Okay. Uh, along with uh, video on the rail. So that'll be good. All right. Yeah. Cool. Uh, from Casey. Think you can find a six-wheeler and modify it? I hope my message got through uh, for my hat to get signed. Yeah, so it's actually in the shop. Yeah, right Casey, now. your hat's in the shop right now. We just need to sign it and send it off to the post office. So, yep, appreciate the uh, order anyway. Uh, yeah, thank you. But you've been looking for an Argo. I've been looking for, for an Argo for Argo for a long time, and and I found one, and then uh, I was talking to the guy about it, and then a buddy of mine bought it. Yeah, out from I'm. You know, out from under me sounds a little harsh. He didn't know I was looking at it, uh, but yeah, he bought it, and you know, that that was the first Argo I've been able to try to get in mm-hmm. years, mm-hmm. and uh, and I think he sold it since then. Oh, bummer! But you know, he was asking more than what he gave for it. So yeah, well, yeah, if you can make money, I guess it's all right. But you know, dang it, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, from Pendulum Swing, Columbus, North Carolina here, small engine guy myself, heart y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, bro. There it is. <laughs> All right, from uh, Howard, what is, your, what is your first vehicle? My first vehicle was an AMC Eagle. I think that ages you. I'm going to say you're about, don't hate me, I'm going to say you're 50 years old. Uh, I'm... 45. So my first like vehicle was, I'm going to say an 81 Chevy Citation. So, okay. Beautiful car. 80s cars, man. There, uh, in my opinion, there aren't too many good looking 80s cars. Hey, now. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm firing shots here, Charles. No, C10s, <laughs> no, are, I know. C10s it's, are good. I that's, mean, that's a different breed. I don't know. You go 64 and back, like 55 to 64 is like golden era. Oh, dude, it's, of, a, it's of okay. Design, I, man. I'm, I'm, I'll admit it. The 80s square bodies aren't as desirable as the 70s. <sighs> but it's okay. My first like road legal car, like I had tagged and insured, yeah. was an 81 Mazda GLC station wagon. Let's back up for a minute. Your first car was a Citation? Yeah, I was Your like, first I was road like legal car? I was like 12. Now I else? drove it on the street. Okay, so. that's where I'm, I was going. Clo- yeah. Your closed road? No, no, I drove it on the street. I, me and Statue my brother, of limitations we, yeah, is it's definitely gone. Idea. <laughs> me and my brother would drive it to and from, like, anywhere. We, I, I even drove it to school, like, at least one time. Middle school? Did, did you pick yeah, your middle did you school. pick up beer for your dad on the way home too? No. I, mean, I, I gotta say when when we were like eleven or twelve, I think we looked more like we were eight. I am so shocked we did not get pulled over driving that thing around the streets in Texas. Don't you have a story where you're passing a cop and you can barely see over the steering they, wheel they or were something? The little I'm, rascals before the little yeah. rascals. <laughs> so I'm, I'm I'm sure yeah, because I I did look tiny in that car. So Charles? Uh, it uh, my first vehicle was a 2004 Chevy Silverado. Oh, the one you still yeah, have? I still yeah, have it. Sweet. Silverado. Made I have I have tornadoes. put uh, 130 thousand miles on it. No kidding. Yeah, you got that thing with what 80k on it or something? Yeah. Wow. Okay. John, yeah, still brand new. My first car was a a Euro. It was a Euro boy. Here we go. Uh, oh, 2003 BMW 325i. That's where I'm at. Yep. In fact, that's how I got to first meet John because his broken. Euro car was broken. And Ike worked at the shop. Yep. But I, I think the – I'll just talk about BMWs for just a second. Um, humor <laughs> me, boys. The E46 platform is just gorgeous in my opinion. It's like the 01 to 06, 05. It's uh, perfect for an LS. Three series, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know. I personally like the E36. Yeah, well. Which you were like the 36 more than the 46? Yeah. No, really? Because I own one. Oh, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I actually owned an E46, too. 
Now, guys, I had no idea. Two years ago, I could have never told you what an E36 and an E46 yeah. was. No, couldn't it's, have done it. It's, it's the chassis code for, language. yeah, it's the chassis code for different generations of the 3 Series BMW, like the basically the compact. Yeah. So, yeah, I own an E36, and I actually like it. Now, it's cost, costing me an arm and a leg yeah. to keep it going. I ain't going to lie. It was a free car, and I've got probably more than two grand in it right now just in parts keeping it going and the car was halfway decent whenever i first got it yep that's so how they the, are the free cars will always get you so you know just what like BM- my thunderbird you know what bmw stands for break my wallet yep definitely so next yeah what else <laughs> we got guys um let's see here that was a good question though thanks for that man uh let's see here can't wait to see more of the Clapalack from Travis. It's a classic. Oh, it is, man. I love that car. Me neither. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, but thanks to everyone uh, who's watched that video and like left a thumbs up on it. It's one of those weird things where like it's not a go-kart or mini bike, so the YouTube algorithm is gonna want to naturally tank it a little bit. Mm. So um, but it's been doing okay so far. So so thanks for that, guys. Give it a lot Thank of likes. You. Exactly. Give it all the likes. Only cricket. Thanks for the uh, thanks Thank for you. the hippopotamus, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right uh another question let's see not a good multitask so would you would you get another e uh another e46 well you, you got another one but like another one like a four-door one like you had oh i don't know i, I want to make an m3 or a, or a v8 uh like my first yeah. car of course would be sweet but yeah. you know one broken money hole at a time right yeah. Right now is yeah. the clap alike. That's right. <laughs> so From, uh, oh, go ahead. Jeremy, GTS, uh, thank you for your contribution. Have you ever thought about building a hovercraft? Yes, we have. Uh, also, the bottle opener is awesome. Thank you. Oh, well, good, Well, thank dude. you. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it works good for you. So, yes, we have talked about hovercraft more than once. Uh, we just haven't, like, is, is the ball in my court right now trying to figure out a... We'll, we'll just leave it We need that. a donor vehicle. Oh, okay, no, wait. Okay. Unless... Yeah, yeah, well... No. Is that one out there? Yeah. The one is one available? The one that you know who broke. Is it available? It is. Okay. I gave, I gave it to you. We have a donor vehicle. We're, we're talking about it, so... Yeah, was, you were in sh- Yeah, we got it. Just, just give us time, please. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks for the, uh, thanks for the donation, yeah. and uh, I'm glad you're liking your, uh, your bottle opener there. From Brent, hey, is there going to be? Brent? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, man? Uh, is there going to be an East Coast trip on the jet skis next year? Happy for y'all's success over the years, and glad to have watched cars and cameras grow, uh, and now include Charles. Congrats on one mil. See you, at Buzz thank Co. you. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah. Means a lot. Uh, jet skis. Why hadn't we done? Oh yeah, my wreck. Yeah, yeah your wreck. We, we were talking about doing a jet ski trip, and of course, you know, was unable. We were going to ride like a hundred miles on jet skis to the Outer Banks. Yeah. And then I bought one and realized that. I'm going to die if I do this. <laughs> yeah, I was going to need to follow them in a chase boat. Yeah, and that's expensive. Chase yeah. boats are expensive. And I'll, I'll tell you, I can only go about four hours on a tank of gas on my jet ski. Really? Yeah. So we'd be pulling over and refueling? Yeah. Somewhere. It would still be fun, maybe. I don't know. I, I went out in the open water with mine. Yeah. It was rough. Really? It was crazy. We I didn't even make it out to the uh, the sound. Oh, yeah, it's going to be even rougher out there. Yikes. Yeah. Because we're talking yeah. like 20, at least 20, 30 miles of open water, right? Yeah, I've, I've ridden one to Cape Lookout. And if anybody's familiar with that area, it's it's really rough. Yeah. So what what would be ideal for that is we um we find like I don't know, down the Mississippi River or something, uh, like a, a big river would be great for a road trip on jet skis. I just don't know if you can continuously ride a jet ski for a hundred miles, for example, on that river or any river in the United States, we may have to find out. Yeah, so we just got to do some research yeah. or find someone yeah. that knows the deal. But uh, yeah, thanks for your, uh, your comment, man. From a Kostaka, will Isaac jump my DOT legal CRF four hundred and fifty X with Recluse? What? <laughs> Oh, it's a dirt bike with a recluse cut. Yeah, I'm going to say so you I'm don't have no. to. So you don't have to actually use a handle. You can just go. I can answer that for you. Thanks, but no thanks. Uh, I can't. I can't right now. I'm Sounds still, like fun, but keep it over there. I'm, I'm still <laughs> recovering. Uh, from everyone I've talked about to about my injury, it's probably going to be at least a year before I can do anything like wild, crazy. Yeah. Like 
I'm, I'm getting back around doing stuff. I'm, I'm back on mini bikes and stuff, but uh, doing anything crazy is probably going to be a little bit. Sorry, guys. No, hey, I mean, it just like, be safe. Yeah. Take your safety seriously because yeah. you're, what, June, July, August, September, three months out. Mm-hmm. And, and I can at least, like, raise my hand over my head, but mm-hmm. the strength is just not there. Yeah, I'd say you're at, like, 70, 65% or so. 50. Really? I think I'm 50%, to be honest. Yeah, well, yeah. let's just hope you keep improving. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for the comment uh, and donation. Uh, from Matt, Mike Reed is spamming you in the comments. Oh, thanks, dude. Yeah, that oh. guy was, uh, yeah, he was, I think he was a little cranky or something. I don't know Mike. what's going on. <laughs> Um, all right, from Josh. You guys should come out with a limited edition Christmas ornament. Uh, you want to take over, Charles? Well. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to give any spoilers, but uh, I've got I've got something in the works. John's giving me a really awesome opportunity. Thank you again. They're actually pretty sweet. I'm saying uh, but I think they're pretty sweet and I think they're going to be pretty popular on the, you know, channel. Yep. And the fir- the first run of them may not be Christmas ornaments, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. If I need to add a little tab to hang it, or we'll we'll figure it out. I've got enough material to make the first first. I think fifty of them. So I think y'all will like them. Yeah. Oh, that's hilarious, Kevin Junkyard Digs. This is the best two dollars you ever spent, man. Ike, check your phone after the Wieners text. <laughs> uh, just leave it in your pocket. Okay. <laughs> Don't engage. Don't Kevin, engage. come on, man! I I got him with <laughs> uh, he was he was premiering a video like an hour ago, and I got him with uh, I got him with one pretty good. He's, oh yeah, so he's, he's just watching this fourteen. <laughs> he's watching this fourteen sodas deep right yeah. now. Oh, yeah. Oh man. Definitely. I love that guy. Oh. Yeah, yeah, he's the man. Um, yeah. I think we have a couple more super chats coming in, but I think the show's gonna be winding down here in a few minutes. So if you have any others, uh, go ahead and and get them in now, and we'll get to them. And if we don't get to them, we will. Get to them in the next one. He uh, took you to a school bus race. Kevin he's, did? Yeah, he's a real nice guy. Oh, yeah. And this, well, we can't go into the full story. No, we're not no, going to touch no, that, that was, 20 no, foot pole. No. No. Uh, highly recommend the Night of Destruction in Britt, Iowa, though, uh, at the uh, Hancock County Fair or something like that. But, um, anyway. Yeah, I wasn't there. No, you weren't there. <laughs> I wasn't there. No, that but was, that was right post rec. From what I, uh, heard. I think I would like going. Yeah, it was fun. It was yeah. fun. Uh, let's talk about what we have coming up, guys. Uh, okay. We're going to be busy here. Well, we, we are busy. No, nothing's yeah. changing. Um, we have the Go Power Sports 180 coming up in November. I want to mm-hmm. say the second weekend in November. They changed the date. It was the 6th. Now it's like the 10th, 11th, something like that. Had, had something to do with uh, arrangements for... The for venue the, sold. Yep. Yeah. So they yeah. had to find a new venue. And, and from what I can tell... They found something way better, anyways. So I think it's worth the the you know change of date. Yep. Because from what I've seen, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. So it's going to be a hundred and eighty minute uh, mini bike race, and they're going to have a rascal corral too, a little rascal corral or something like that. But like a, a little circuit race just for the little rascals, I believe. Mm. So that's going to be <laughs> fun. Um, but yeah, it's a hundred and eighty minute race. So I'm going to say, oh, what was that going to? 80 miles, 100 miles, something like that. You, you need to go ride your property for 180 minutes uh, and I'm, see how no. tired we get. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to say that's going to be before, between 40 and 50 miles. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the gambler was – that took us five and a half hours yeah. or something. Goodness gracious. Yeah. yeah. Now, I don't know the terrain, but I, I don't think it's going to be horrible. But, you know, I'm thinking, like, on a fast lap, you're probably going to be doing, like, 40 miles per hour or something like that. Like, yeah. Uh, so maybe less miles. So we'll see. Yeah. I love the uh, the venue we in in Oregon for the Gambler uh, Enduro was great, except yeah. it was very rocky in places. And so thankfully I never fell. But um, if you you know, if you did fall, it would definitely hurt. So yeah, I, I know from experience it's still swollen. <laughs> really? Mm. Yeah. yeah. That's all right. Um, what else do we have coming up? So, yeah, you can check Go Power Sports social media for more information on that. Uh, we're going to post something about it as well. Okay. So we got uh, Red Beer's race coming up? Yep. That's like the 20th of November. That's oh. like right before Thanksgiving. That's like coming up pretty fast. It is. Family time. we got to build some stuff. we got to build some stuff. Yeah. That's not a public event, but um, 
uh, we're going to be shooting some episodes on it, so it should yeah. be a lot of fun. And then the Busco Beach. We have Busco Beach coming up. Mini Mayhem. Yep. Looking forward to that. It's been like over a year, boys. I, I wow. hope for a good turnout. Yeah. It should be. I mean, it should be a big deal. I mean. Even if it's not, it's still the, the what we see. I mean, goodness gracious. Do you, do you remember the tank? Yeah. I mean, the guy, oh, well, I'm glad the name. guy survived. He's, he's from Florida. Yeah, I was about to say, that's the definition of Florida man right yeah. there. It was. Yeah, he had the firework blow up, and the rest oh, of them were snap. in his lap, and they lit up. Yeah. It was this man. Oh, I, I forgot missed, his name. I he was that. he was a cool so, dude. Oh, if you're so out cool. there, I'm so glad. Yeah, it's okay. in one of our previous mini mayhem videos. I think it's on the thumbnail. But this guy built a tank out of a zero turn lawnmower. Something like that. It had like a turret on it and everything, and he loaded some fireworks in there, <laughs> and one or two like Florida man. One. Yeah, Florida man and blows himself up. In Busco homemade beach. tank. And, yeah, I mean that's a headline right there, boys. Um, uh, he was a he was a super cool dude. Yeah. Um, but anyway, I hope I hope you can make it out uh, again in October because I would love to see that vehicle again. Uh, and I'm very glad you're okay from that uh, firework incident. <laughs> That was crazy. Yeah, lo- lots of street bike swap things. I mean, it's it's, it's yeah. crazy what we get to see. I mean, <laughs> go ahead. Let's I just let's nothing. go like real quick. Let's go through a greatest hits of mini mayhem vehicles of okay. like people that have brought mini mayhem vehicles. All you right. got the tank. Yes, I'm gonna take the next one. That was Charles's, I think. I'm gonna All take right. the next one. the The Kawasaki Ninja 500 that was out there, like the completely the stock complete Ninja. Bike. Oh, okay. street bike. Yeah, laying it down uh, everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What, what was but he that? was a trooper. Yeah. What are you doing, man? <laughs> it was hilarious. Slick tires. That's the best part about it. It's like, what are you doing? But anyway. What's that go-kart that had the street bike engine on it? Oh, it was man. Oh, the, well, one of Sweeney's buddies yeah. had a Jixxer 750 that on a... That thing was nuts. Oh, my. Yeah. Holy and cow. I, he had to have slick tires on it because I think it hooked. It was going to blow something up. Oh, yeah. That yeah. thing was gnarly. Yeah, I think All that it did was, was the spin. craziest one. Yeah. All it did was spin, and it still went like 80 miles an hour on the sand. Yeah. Yeah. It was fast. You guys remember the guy on the bicycle? Yes. It, w- it was just a bicycle? Was May- Mini Mayhem. Mini Mayhem well, 2? Maybe, maybe. I don't think there was an engine on the bicycle. I think yeah. it was just a bicycle. <laughs> I missed that one. Yeah. Just, I mean, I don't remember. just cruising by. Yeah. The little kid with the gas pedal getting stuck and <laughs> splashing through the pedal. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm glad he's okay, too. Yeah. 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 Make sure when you come to Mini Mayhem, make sure... Your kill switch works. You have one that's easily accessible. Make sure your gas pedal is not going to get stuck because once it gets all that dirt and grime packed in there, it probably will get stuck. Yeah. And a good return spring on the top of the engine. Make sure your brakes work. And then, honestly, the other safety measure, just, like, don't have a lot of power. (laughs) Yeah. Because if you have six horsepower, it's pretty easy to bail. Oh, yeah. You can grab hold of that thing and just kind of hold on to it. Hold on to it. Yeah. Yeah, Plus, I mean, it's, it's like more of a challenge when you're on something... That should not be in that kind of terrain. Man. No, that was a yard cart 100%. Uh, but he did not cart. care. A and dingo. He was, he was living it up. Yeah, there were four-wheelers with like 30-inch tires on yeah. them, and he's just like on a little. I think yeah, a, but we were having more fun. Would be good. A dingo is a good call dingo. out yeah. there. Yeah, your back is going to suffer, but a dingo is just an unkillable machine. So light, you can just pick it up, turn around, go back the other way. Yep. Don't need to reverse. No, no. Either that or MB200, CT200, U, EX, um, Baja. They're all good calls. No, what What is it? Uh, any other good um, Any other good uh, mini mayhem vehicles oh. you guys can think of? Well, I don't, it I don't was, know. I think it was a stock go-kart, but do you remember the one that went almost completely underwater? Oh, yeah. And, like, it, the only thing that was out it's of like it was hus- just the air filter. And the wife or something. Yeah, they drove it because they tried crossing. Oh, yeah, that was, they, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, that was good. Yeah. They drove yeah, straight into, good. like, a four-wheeler rut yeah, or there's, whatever. That's on uh, Instagram, I yeah. think. Yeah. yeah. Out, out at Busco, they name all the holes, the infamous ones, and th- all the signs are gone due to the hurricanes and the flooding. But, yeah, I'm sure that was one of the ones that you can find on YouTube and on our channel. Yeah. We got another round of uh, Super Chat questions from you guys, so uh, – yeah, I mean, you guys keep sending them. I guess we'll okay. keep answering them. Uh, so we're having a good time. So Scott's three dart, three uh, D art, or three dart, three dart. Oh, yeah, dart. I, well, would like to see a coffin cart. Thoughts? I've got the coffin. <laughs> we got the carts. I think we ought to put them together. Make it happen. Halloween's coming up. Halloween is coming up. So maybe. Yeah, that would be fun. I think we should do it, boys. Let's do it. All right, we'll talk. All right, we'll talk. Uh, only cricket. 
Any E85 methanol projects coming up? We had we had one already. Um, gosh, when was that? That one was a, a year and a half ago. ago. That was a couple yeah. summers ago. We kind of did a comparison. Uh, we did an E85, and then we uh, just ran it on gas and did a comparison. And, yeah, we got a little bit more performance out of the E85. It might but, have been 5%. But with, with a one-cylinder engine, I just – I don't think it was worth the, the the time and money put into it. I mean, also the engine wasn't really optimized for E eighty five. You know, like, no, I guess it wasn't. But yeah. you know, it was it was a fun little. Uh, oh, it was a fun experiment. experiment. Yeah, it was great. Yes, yeah, Sunoco. Yeah, There's a sponsor of the channel. There, yep. Fuel sponsor. They sent us the uh, the eighty five for that, uh, and it was it was fun. It was. Uh, I've always wanted to experiment with it. Mm. From Lemur One, Ike, if you can make a trip to Western Canada, I will give you my restored 1980s 6x6 Argo, and it's in mint shape. It's okay. Get the keys, dude. It's okay. Catch you later, dog. Man. Start driving. Man. <laughs> hey. Hey, send me an email with uh, with pictures. If you go on the computer on YouTube and to the About page, you can find my email there. And, uh, send some pictures if you're serious. Snakey J, I'm building a lifted go kart too. Your videos are so helpful. You guys should do a United Kingdom tour. Yes, love to. That would be sweet. Yeah, it would be sweet. My dad just got home from Italy, and I keep. One day, I really <laughs> want to do like a European uh, CT70 trip. That would be. Oh, that would be insane. sweet. Insane. Yeah. I don't know what kind of trouble we would. We, we just got to be careful because I think some places over there, it's. Might small engines might be illegal, like to modify them or something. Well, yeah, that's that's the thing. I think it's illegal to put like a bigger engine on on something. Well, we yeah. all I know is that the CT seventy was sold in England as the Dax. Yeah. So, it, as long as that's legal and we get our okay. hands on some boys, yeah. we can make it happen. All right. Uh, from Knight Allen, just straight pipe the good old five point three. I bet your neighbors are Hello. loving you right now. <laughs> that might cut. Your mic cut out? Oh, yeah. look, no, Kevin no. was like, oh, no, I'm serious. That's okay. So you're looking at your phone? No, I can We I can hear oh, you okay. in the headphones. Oh, yeah. Can you hear, me? Can you hear I, us? I can't hear anything. Can't hear anything. That's all right. All right. No worries. with some stuff. All right. Uh, it's at the end. Okay. Um, anyway, what else we got? Oh, junkyard digs. No, I'm serious. Eugene Backyard Repair again. Ike, it'll be fine. Two heart attacks, and now I YouTube too. Oh. Oh, he, oh, oh! Well, I'm glad you're here to at least comment that. Oh, oh. Kevin said I have an Argo I need to get rid of. That's funny. Uh, oh. Eugene, I'm sorry to hear that you have had two heart attacks, but uh, happy to hear that you're uh, you're on YouTube. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that won't happen to you again, dude. That's gnarly, yeah, man. All right, so Kevin has an Argo. Apparently, it's a new development. Okay, I guess uh, we'll talk. Yeah, we'll we'll talk. Talk, Kevin. We'll talk. Uh, from Brent Heath, Cape Fear would be a good jet ski ride. Okay, we'll Cape look into Fear. it. Have you River? been there? Is that like Wilmington area? Possibly. Okay. I don't know. I'd yeah, we'll we'll check we'll into, it, into it, man. It. But yeah, I know I've heard of it. Wait, we could just go up the coast or something. Yeah. Anyway, we'll we'll talk. We'll we really got it. We're not the best planners. No, um, we're not. Obviously, look at the look at <laughs> what we've <laughs> done today. I was I was in Charles charge of fiancés uh, in the background. Like, yeah, oh God. yeah. Uh, from Howard, did you name the last bike you built? I would name it Frank. I would like to name Frank. Frankenstein. Cars oh, oh, Frankenstein. Cars and, oh, okay. You're talking about the Frank. mullet bike, the yellow one, I'm assuming? <laughs> I call it the mullet bike. I, I like Arnold Palmer because it's a little half and half, if you yeah. know what I mean. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> half bicycle, half monster mini bike. PM's real talk. There is no cars and cameras without Ike. There would be no cars I and agree. cameras without John. Or Charles at this point, man. Yep. I mean, we're yep. – stop. You know, we <laughs> make the, the triangle, guys. We are a unit. Plus the editor, plus... Uh, no, don't do it. No, no, no. Tropic Thunder quotes no. here, boys. Uh, from Knight <laughs> Allen, not including catalytic converters. Oh, you're on your straight pipe 5.3? Oh. You still got your cats, right, buddy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah wink, the wink, EPA wink, is right. listening. Yeah. yeah, yeah, there we go. Demon right. Doom Slayer. Y'all ever thought about hosting something in Georgia? No, because I've never really been to Georgia. But it would be fun. Mm-hmm. Driven through, yeah, on yeah. the way to Texas, I believe. Yeah, it'd be fun. I mean, I'm yeah. down. I would love to do like a countrywide tour sometime. Yeah, hit up Mike oh, Shannon, that would be cool. Riding his, uh, was it just jet boat? Jet boat, that'd be sweet. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, 
What is – oh, Kevin. <laughs> oh, yeah, Kevin. All right, uh, from Lamar Zimmerman. Get Grindhard to come to Busco Beach. That's kind of a far ride for those guys. They are – Probably like a 35 or 40 hour drive. Yeah, they're, yeah but their power wheels builds would eat it up out there. Oh, yeah. yeah it'd be, they it'd would be have crazy fun out there. Yeah, it'd yeah, be sweet. It'd be awesome. From Cody, when will the new shop be up and running, y'all think? That's eh, a great question. About 50%. Just kind of waiting on electrician and, and plumbing. Uh, plumbing and stuff like that. So and then permits and yeah, it's inspections. Just, we're, at, we're waiting for them. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Um, but well, I mean, as you can see, we're still shooting videos out of there. Yep. Uh, and it's fun. It's going to be an awesome space. It's going to it be really so is. cool. Yeah. yeah. It already is cool. All right. From Casey. Hey, Ike, when are you putting the 302 in the Mustang? Oh, I don't know. I'm still driving it around with the 289. So far, the uh, the uh, JB Weld is holding just fine on the cracked block <laughs> times two. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to be building the 302 eventually and. Uh, you know, it might take me a while, but yeah, it'll wind up in there. You say building, yes. Cam, heads, so flat tops. I mean, probably. Yeah. You know, I, I want something with a little bit of some that go to only it. takes ninety three octane or higher, right? No, I like and running pump gas. Exhaust. You know, like, oh yeah, so ninety three would be all right, but yeah. Nothing, nothing too nothing rowdy. Nothing too crazy. Yeah, I mean it's a classic Mustang. I don't need it to be a race car. I just want it to just go to point A, point B, be able to drive it on power tour with no problems. Yeah, fair enough. You know, maybe maybe nine and a half, ten to one compression and pump gas. Okay. Yeah. So that's my thoughts. From Doctor GTI sixteen valve. Uh, channel monthly sub. Love you, knuckleheads. Bottle or op- bottle opener number one ninety. I like this. If if you bought let up uh, if you bought a bottle opener, let us know if you ever make one of these comments. Let us know which number you got. I remember one ninety. Do you? Yeah, I do. Specifically, I think, that might, have, specifically. I think that might have been one of the ones I signed. Yeah, really? remember I started at two hundred and, and work worked your way back. Okay. Yeah. 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 I remember cleaning up the edges and stuff. So. Yeah, we clean up a lot of edges. Yeah. 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 Uh, let me know about Italy travel. I've got many kilometers driven in the homeland. Nice. Yeah, that'd be sweet. I'd love to make that happen. Yeah, be cool. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we've been up here for, wow, an hour. Time always flies. It really does. Uh, anyway, that's going to do it for, hold on, here's another one. Here's the last super chat we're going to read, guys. Backwood Labs, located in Central North Carolina. Y'all inspired me to start my channel. Love you guys. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, and thanks for the donation too. Thank um, you. Um, yeah, all like all the T-shirt orders and all the monthly subscriptions that we have. Oh yeah, we have a uh, behind the scenes channel. It's our channel membership uh, where we have uh, behind the scenes videos that we're posting. We just posted one behind the scenes in the Rocky Mountains of Go Power Sports. Um, anyway, join that if you want a little bit more content from us. Uh, anyway, all that to say, thank you because uh, buildings are incredibly expensive. Turns out. Uh, yes. And getting hurt is also very expensive, so. Yes. Uh, and Charles is having a kid, and those are. Everything's expensive. expensive. Yeah, but anyway, we just appreciate all your support, um, so far. Uh, yeah, and to get us to a million subscribers. So that's going to do it for this episode of At the Wheel with Cars and Cameras. Got anything else, bud? No, I think that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, check me out at Isaac. It'll be fine. There you go. Check John out on Cars and Cameras. Charles, well, thanks for having me on, John. And uh, you can check me out at uh, see Charles underscore eighty five C ten on Instagram. He's got some good Instagram content. <laughs> he does. It's good stuff. He really does. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we still have a couple super chats coming in, but we're gonna get to them in the next episode. But thank you for the donations. Uh, thanks for tuning in, everyone. We'll catch you next time. <laughs>